How do they know what's at the center of the Earth? Well, for a really long time, people looked to outer space as the most mysterious area of human study. It wasn't until Jules Verne's extraordinary voyages when people began to question how much they really knew about their own home planet. One of these stories was a journey to the center of the Earth in which three travelers found themselves in a second world full of dinosaurs. In 1692, Edmund Haley hypothesized that the Earth is mostly hollow, but some of that space is filled with concentric circles. While these two ideas seem ridiculous, we don't really know what truly is at the center of the Earth because no one has actually been there. Temperatures begin to soar when we get to the mantle, which is just less than 2,000 miles deep at 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. However, in 1936, a Danish seismologist named Ing Lehmann used newly created methods of measuring earthquakes to discover the Earth had a core of molten iron and nickel. To do this, she measured P waves and S waves, which travel from within the Earth as earthquakes occur. Because P waves can travel through solids and liquids, while S waves can only travel through solids, Lehmann theorized that the Earth had a liquid outer core and a solid inner core. Of course, some scientists believe that the Earth actually contains a crystalline core and at its absolute center has chunks of gold and platinum, but it's still 5,000 degrees too hot to go down there and check. Just thought you should know.